Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and today's practice is going to be a practice for nursing mamas. So I would like to say just before we get going that you should get the all clear from your midwife or your doctor before um, coming back to a yoga practice or any sort of exercise after having a baby. So um, yeah, just make sure you've got the all clear first. This is going to be a very gentle practice, but yeah, always speak to a doctor or midwife first. So this is going to be a nice practice for opening up the chest, kind of widening out the shoulders, any tension held across the neck. If you're maybe holding a newborn, they're actually a lot heavier than you think, aren't they? So um, yeah, you might find you get a little bit of strain through the neck and the shoulders. Um, and for this practice, you might need some blocks or you could sub it out for some books or some pillows. It's just for a nice supported fish pose at the end of the practice, which I'm gonna leave you in. Um, and if it feels really nice, you can just like keep it, hold it for as long as you want. So if you've got your props or pillows, just pop them to one side. And we're gonna start in child's pose today. And let's start in a wide legged child's pose. So come into the back edge of your mat, bring your big toes to touch. And then take your knees out, maybe as wide as your mat or as wide as is comfortable. Have a little wriggle through the hips, just kind of assessing the situation in the hip creases. And then coming on forward. So allowing the tummy and the chest to relax in between the knees. We don't want to squash anything in the chest area. Maybe you're feeling a little bit sensitive there. And bringing the forehead to rest onto the hands or onto the mat if that's more comfy. Give yourself a couple of breaths here to get comfy and shimmy into position. And then see if you can invite a little bit of stillness in. Closing the eyes and scanning through the body, noticing how it feels in this shape today. So child's pose is a lovely restorative pose. See if you can allow yourself to ease off into it. Notice if the shoulders are gripping. Maybe you're trying to hold up your head. See if you could just allow the weight of the forehead to be supported. And as you allow your forehead to be fully supported, feel your facial muscles relax. Down through the neck. Soften across the shoulder blades. that lengthening and opening of the lower back. So just starting to drop into your breath, so breathing in and out of the nose. Resting your focus on the sound of your own breathing. Maybe making an intention for this next little portion of our day. And maybe that is just to be fully present or allow ourselves this time for some self-care. Taking this time to fill up our own cup. So when you're ready, on an in-breath, you're going to stretch your hands out in front and then come to an all fours position. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, spread fingers wide and find a little softness through the elbows. We're going to take a little cat cow here and just go as kind of um, as big or as small as you want. So inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, round it out. Just start to feel into the spine. So inhale, drop in the belly, sway in the heart forwards. Exhale, round. And flow at the own pace of your breath. So maybe you're a little bit faster, maybe you're slower than this pace. See if you can feel every vertebrae articulating through the spine. Lovely, good. Sticking with this if this feels good or maybe just starting to incorporate some irregular movement. So maybe there's some like barrel rolls with the chest. Maybe some of us would like to do some big circles. Quite nice for stretching out through the outer hips if you really push to the side. Maybe it's a little forwards and back. 
you might go from child's pose into like a seal pose or like a lazy up dog. Don't worry about what it looks like. Just move into what feels good in your body at this point in time. And it's different every single time we come to our mat. So see if you can move away from like what you habitually do and really tune in to this body. Wonderful, good. Coming back to a neutral place, we're gonna take puppy pose here. So keeping the knees exactly where they are, walking the hands forward and then dropping the chest, dropping the forehead down. Now for some of us, if your forehead doesn't quite reach the mat, you can grab a block or a pillow and rest your forehead onto it. So sinking the heart down towards the earth. Lovely, see if you can soften into the pose, but if it's too much, see if you can like back off, you can always walk your hands a little closer, maybe a little softness through the elbow so you take out some intensity. We wanna take these poses as like nourishing our body rather than depleting it of energy, which is, you know, we're already <laughs> giving out a lot of energy right now. So think about this as nourishing and refreshing the body. Let go of any clawing or gripping in the hands. See if you can relax your fingers. And just see what happens if you give in to gravity a little bit more. Let's take one more breath here. As you exhale, walk in those hands back underneath the shoulders. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, push the shoulder blades apart, looking all the way to your toes. Okay, inhale to a neutral place. From here, we're going to reach our right hand high towards the sky. See if you're going to broaden across the chest. Lovely. And then let's make some circles here. So don't worry if they're not perfect circles, just draw them as big or as small as feels good. So as you start to lean back, you might feel that stretch across the top of the pec, top of the chest. Lovely. Good. Let's do one more circle here. Reach up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, Thread it on through, come onto your right cheek, onto the back of the right shoulder. Get comfy here so your head and shoulder are nice and supported. And then maybe your left hand reaches and places onto your lower back, like so. Maybe some of us wanna reach all the way and grab for the inner right thigh for a little bind. So you can be here or here, or if it feels better to have your left hand down, you can keep it out of it if you want. Otherwise, relax your fingers, relax your toes. And use your breath to like feel into the posture. Notice where the breath travels or is pushed into. Very nice, placing your left hand back down onto the mat. Inhale, sweep that right hand high, open it up. And as you exhale, bring it on down. Awesome, let's do the opposite side. So inhale, left hand reaches high, and then go for some circles here. And don't worry if they're not perfect, don't worry if the rest of your body is moving. You can make it quite rhythmic. And just gently open up through that left shoulder and the front of the left side of the chest. Lovely. One more breath in, reach up tall. Exhale, thread it on through, get comfy on your cheek, on the shoulder. Right hand can stay on the mat. It can come to your sacrum or maybe reaching around and grab for your inner thigh.
maybe closing off the eyes. Noticing any differences between the left and the right hand side. So noticing maybe where you habitually hold on to baby if you're left or right handed, you could feel some really big differences in the sides. Good, one more breath. Exhale, let's bring that right hand down, sweep that left hand high, take a nice big breath in, reach up. Exhale, bringing it on down, lovely. From here, we're gonna tuck our toes, walk our hands back and we're coming to a hanging forward fold, so rolling over the feet. Soften through the knees, so your tummy, maybe even the bottom of your rib cage is relaxed onto your knees or your thighs and allow the upper body to hang. Maybe grabbing opposite elbows, taking a little rock from side to side, really just allow the back of the neck to release. Allow the upper body to hang, so each vertebrae finding a little more space in between one another. Really letting your head and neck go here. So this is an, a lovely place just to release those muscles through the neck. Good, then bringing the fingertips down, bend into the knees and we're gonna come to a seated position here. So you can come to cross-legged or if you prefer to be kneeling, totally up to you. Come find a seat with me. And then really ground your sitting bones. So see if you can really like plug them into the earth. Sitting nice and tall. Imagine you're slightly like resting your shoulder blades onto like the wall behind you. It will make you just um, sit up a little bit straighter. From here, take a nice big breath in. Reach your hands high. And then as you exhale, take a little twist over to your left. So your right hand crumbs across. Now look all the way over your back shoulder. Drawing navel to spine. And just feeling that light twist through the thoracic spine, so that middle spine. Good, keeping your body exactly where it is, you're just gonna turn your head to look at your right knee, so the opposite knee that you've got a hold of. And feel that stretch through the side of the neck, even like the little bit of the jaw as well. So looking down and over to the right. Good, as you inhale, reach both hands high, reach up. Opposite side, so twisting to the right. Let's look over that right shoulder, draw navel in. Enjoy that lovely twist through the middle back. Good, keep pulling the belly in. Maybe you can twist a little more. Take a breath in, keep the body where it is. And as you exhale, just turning the head towards the left knee. So you're feeling that stretch on this side of the neck now. And you can slightly look down and like breathe into that side of the neck. Good, as you inhale, reach up, unwind. As you exhale, bring your hands down through heart center. Wonderful, keep your legs as they are. We're gonna bring our fingertips behind and then squeeze the shoulder blades together and lift the heart. So you're feeling that lovely big opening through the chest. Chin up here and feel that expanse through that front side, making all of the space. Soften across the jaw. So it's lightweight in the fingertips. We're not really like dumping back here. You wanna find a connection to the core just so you can find more lift. And the fingertips are almost just like propping you up here. Lovely, take a breath in. Exhale, bring your hands to your knees, chin to chest, and then rounding through the back. Wonderful.
You're gonna cross your legs the opposite way now, so the non-habitual way, and we're gonna do the same thing again. So fingertips come behind, open through the chest. Hmm. Find a connection to the core, even lift up through your pelvic floor as well. It'll really help you find more lift. Squeezing the shoulder blades together and feel that little bit of warmth generated in between the shoulder blades. Strengthening that space. Be really good for your posture and looking after your upper back. Lovely breathing in. Exhale, hands to knees and then rounding through the spine, leaning back. Wonderful, inhale, lifting yourself up. We're gonna come onto our back. So make sure you've got your prop so your blocks, books or pillows near you and we're going to come on down to our back from here. Once you arrive, we're going to bring the knees in towards the chest but just avoid any sensitivity in the chest area. So maybe that means the knees come out like either side of the body and you give your chest area a little bit of space. Taking a little rock from side to side, massage into the back. Maybe for some of us, bringing the knees in towards the heart feels okay, and that's cool too. But yeah, just an option if you are feeling very sensitive in the upper body. Lovely. From here, we're going to take the arms out into a cactus shape. Bring your feet down. Shimmy your hips to the left, and then allow your knees to just drop to the right. Lovely. Just allow the legs to be heavy. heavy. Don't worry if they need to like adjust themselves to find something a little more comfortable. And as the knees drop to the right, breathe in space to the left hand side. Good, inhale, bringing the knees through center feet flat, shimmy your hips over to the right. <laughs> so hips to the right and then knees fall to the left. Just let them hang heavy. Softening both shoulders back onto the mat. Breathing in space to that right hand side. Gently nourishing and refreshing the spine in the most gentle and kind way. Lovely. Inhale, bringing the knees through center. Bring your feet flat on the mat. This is where we're gonna need our props for a supported fish pose. So actually, we're going to come back up to seated. So if you press into your hands, come on up. Um, so if you're using the blocks, I'll demonstrate. You probably want two blocks just to kind of take away intensity. So you're going to bring your block like in between your like shoulder blades, kind of like where your bra strap would sit. So like towards the bottom of the shoulder blades, more like the tip of the shoulder blade. And then just have your other block in your hand. So for some of us, letting the head drop all the way back arms out to the side, nice opening through the throat, maybe, but if that's too much on your neck, just use your hand to like pick up your head just so you don't strain your neck. And then you can pop another block underneath or a pillow, pillow's great, stack of pillows, and that should take out some intensity. Arms can come out to the side, palms shining up, and then whatever's good with your legs here. So for some of us, maybe having the legs out straight feels really good. Maybe you'd like to come in to a groin opener, maybe it's feet flat on the mat, knees drop in, totally up to you. Have a little bit of a <laughs> play around. And in the beginning, it might feel quite intense, but see if you can soften into it and find as much comfort and support from the floor and the props. Once you've found that shape, close your eyes. Breathe in through the nose. And let it go through the mouth. <sighs> With each exhale, just allowing yourself 
to soften into the shape. Inviting stillness in. Inviting relaxation. I'm gonna leave you here today, so you're so welcome to just let this video end, take a Shavasana. And when you come out, just do it in the most slow and mindful way. And notice how you feel afterwards. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice today. And I'll see you on another video.